So once you have TWRP installed, you can do a number of different things with your device, including various modifications. Like I recently showed you how to install Magisk and gain root access. There's also other features included in TWRP, and I'm going to be going over some of those this week. First, I'm going to show you how to make a what is called a Nandroid backup on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. So we're just going to boot into fast boot mode, then we're going to boot over into recovery mode, which is going to be TWRP. If you're unfamiliar with how to do any of this, be sure to check the full tutorial that will be linked below the video, as that will walk you through this entire process. And we have a number of buttons here to install a modification. You're going to naturally just hit the install button. But today we're going to create an Android backup. So we're going to tap that backup button. From here we get a, a place to name the backup, which is something that I definitely recommend. Name it something that will be very easy to remember, whether you're on stock or a certain custom ROM, whether you're on a certain version of Android, whatever you can type in here to convey what you're currently backing up, because having multiple backups can be rather confusing. And then I recommend you append the date. Once that's named, we have a, a way to select which partitions are included in this backup. If you want to do a full Nandroid backup like we're going to do today, you're just going to want to make sure all of the partitions are selected. But if you only wanted to do a backup of the boot partition, then you will leave all of them unchecked except the boot partition. Or if you only wanted to back up your data partition, then you will only select the data partition. Now if you want, you can also come over here to options and we can enable compression so that the backup takes up less space and you can do encryption if you want, as well as selecting a storage for the over the OTG cable if you wanted to store your backup on a thumb drive. So once that's set, we're just going to swipe the white arrows to the right and that's going to begin the backup process. We get some progress details here down at the bottom. This particular backup is going to include over 2,000 files. It's going to take up a total of 8.1 gigabytes in size. Now the amount of time it takes for you to complete this Nandroid backup will di differ depending on what you have on your device. If you have a lot of games or um, videos or a ton of applications installed, your backup is going to be a lot bigger than eight gigabytes. I have a near basic stock install of Android on here, so it's pretty small, but yours could be 10 or 15 or 20, 25 gigs, even more. So the idea here is to just be patient we can see the progress going up, so 
There's no need to fear that it's stopped or hanging. Now that backup is complete. From here we can either tap the home button and now that we have a recent backup, we could do a restore, we could install a modification, we could do anything we want from the TWRP main menu. Or, since we're done, we're just going to tap on the reboot system button. That's going to boot us out of TWRP. And it will take us back into the regular Android operating system.